welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh yeah as you can see here we've got uh, the Cody Codio <laughs> the Cody rodeo grounds in the background and uh yeah so we're in uh the uh 145 beta again here with uh uh Rudy Peterbilt and the Bart uh Wilson Silver Star and a load of bison uh buffalo and we're taking them on down to Rollins. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, strap in and get it going. Um, it's funny. It says, uh, Rodeo Capital of the World. Codio. Codio. <laughs> there you go again. Cody. Uh, interesting thing. I, I was over at the rodeo grounds there. I didn't come... I, came in that entrance over there in the distance by the big sign, went in the parking lot, took a few photos uh, that you've probably seen by now, and uh, on Steam anyway, and then I went back out, I came around this road here that I'm on, and this is, uh, it unlocked it as a secret, uh, secret road, so that's kind of curious, so... Uh, and that dude's got a long ride going there. I'd say that's more than eight seconds because he's been he's been going since we parked here. Uh, yeah, he's in his uh, Budweiser today. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's uh, get ourselves going here. on my steer axle wheels. Oh, driving all over the road up there. I didn't know if those steer. I'll have to take a look when I go around the corner. They're supposed to be steering. After 100 yards, turn left. So we're going to uh, drive right back through Cody. Turn left. It's kind of cool because... Uh, like I say, uh, said in the last, in uh, an earlier video, I've driven through here before. Oh yeah, let's check these trailer wheels. See if they actually steer. Doesn't look to me like they're steering. Oh, that's a letdown. thousand that looks like maybe 34 I don't know I didn't catch the actual weight I'm just looking at the kilometers or ah, kilograms on my uh, tablet it's funny when my wife and I went uh, through here Cody uh, a long time ago we stopped at a steakhouse along the way here can't remember where we stayed it was Straight. There's a hotel along this drag somewhere. It, uh, the area town, like from what they've depicted here, oh, let's have a quick look at the map. See how many of these streets are. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, it's not a discoverable street back there to the left. But anyway, um, yeah, it looked like the pit part of town a little further east. And probably true because I remember we were coming from the east. It had been a long drive from uh, um, Deadwood. So we stopped in Deadwood. We stopped here on our way back home. Where else did we stop? Uh, after here. Uh, I think it was in Montana, northwestern Montana. Go straight. I forget what town it was. 
I'll have to look at the map and maybe I'll juggle, juggle, juggle my memory. Of course, the town will have changed a lot in 25 years. But around this corner, it starts to look a little more familiar. Uh, yesterday for Pincus. Go trailer. straight. Yesterday being Monday. Um, for his uh, Wilson. I need to try try that out. See what I can do with it. See what's paintable. What is it? There seems to be a few different buildings here and there. Oh. BLM office. If that's like here, BLM is Bureau of Land Management. To be a big deal for ranchers or uh, you know, you you want to go uh, straight. Be in their good book so you can graze on public land. That's what it's it's here. Here they call it. Uh, oh, let me think now. I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh yeah, PFRA. PFRA land is what we call it. Uh, I'm not sure in Alberta actually, but in, I know in Manitoba when I was there and I was working for John Deere, PFRA was uh, what we call special areas here in Alberta. And uh, PFRA stands for Prairie Farm Relief Assistance. And uh, it's free land that you can take your cattle to and graze if you're hurt. Raiseable land yourself, or if you're got drought or whatever. Go straight. It was always cool with PFRA land. Like I mean, you could. I used to like going up and just like if you had a day off or something, you weren't working or whatever, hop in the old pickup truck and head out to some nice uh, spots with a vista or like a view over a river or something on the PFRA and go you know, pull out a beer and chill out, just kind of watch the clouds go by. Pretty nice. <laughs> Getting all emotional thinking about it. Life was simpler then. Last time I was on PFRA land, I was driving my brother's 57 Chevy pickup truck. Old stock, barn fine, awesome truck, really nice, six cylinder. But the only change was uh, had uh, an over, uh, three speed overdrive, so essentially a four speed tranny. 
which really helped it on the highway. Like you could cruise along at 60, 65 with that. And it was a really good, honest truck. It was awesome. You know, all farmers that had owned it before had it forever, uh, maybe even since new. And they rode all over the inside of the cab every oil change mileage that they did on it. Right. And so that, that was just all over the place. It was kind of cool. That old truck was, yeah, it was old. Paint was faded off and everything. Right. But mechanically, it was solid. It was a really good truck. But eventually, somebody came along and offered him more money than was sensible. And, you know, my brother's not like me. I would have kept it. I have had my caddy for 22 years, you know. I went through that period where I sold cars, like get them, fix them up. Like them, but sell them. Straight. But when I got uh, when I got the caddy, that's it. I'm done. I'm done selling cars. Mm -hmm. Going through all the work. Constantly. Uh, it's like you're doing the same jobs over and over. Like with my caddy, I've been picking away at it. It's almost done, you know. <laughs> 24 years, 22 years. And uh, but you're not doing the same thing all the time turning cars over, you're doing the same jobs over and over and over. That's okay when you're younger, but it comes to a point you just want to enjoy them. But yeah, this, uh, this is going to be good. So what they've done up there now, I imagine there's more coming. There's got to be something over, but well, there's going to be the road out of Sheridan. That's going to be a no-brainer to hook up. But I hope that road that goes uh, past Devil's Tower continues on up into Montana. That would be a good thing. Go straight. Forgot to put up caps on those steer wheels. Heard I say that already. I have some other videos already published, and, uh, or not published, but scheduled uh, for publishing, so I think I might just throw this one out as a bonus, and so you might get it on Tuesday, or how long is that straight away?
This is Thermopolis or whatever the heck it's called. Go straight. West Cody. I don't think that road, there's not a road there though. Gotta try and out drag this cement truck. Lights doing here. Oh, he's turning. <laughs> Big drag race. Both turning. Ready for us. Go straight. Yeah, I think this is Thermopolis or Thermopylae or there in that white rock wall I think it's going to say the name of the town Thermopolis all right time to wake these buffalo up Sorry. symbol. Look at that.
Let's see, well, I'll see how 9,000. Need of a, pay, uh, a wash job. So those uh, Wilson here in Canada, they sell a version of the, they call it, oh, I can't remember, the Canadian or something like that, whatever. They have an optional Cataliner up here that's that tall. It's just kind of funny when you saw it in the game at first. Because yeah, they're not common, like, you know, I, I don't, I can't remember seeing one on the road myself. But I've seen it in advertising. Go straight. And when, uh, yeah, I remember when the uh, when the uh, Wyoming came out and they had cattle, and you know, after all the time driving, Pinkas and Bart's uh, Wilson, they hopping in that, uh, you know, grabbing that other one, throwing it behind a truck. It just it's, seemed way off the height. on this, we're, I don't think we're getting the gear shifting sounds. Turn this thing on. Oh yeah, we are. What was I driving the other day that didn't have the, uh, hmm. was it the W900 maybe? Don't know if I commented on it or not in the video. The W900 video, let's see, that's scheduled for Friday. Maybe I haven't even uploaded it yet, the Friday video. Oh, come on, I'm out of here. But I wasn't getting the shifting sounds in that one. It's no big deal, but you kind of get used to it after a while. If you're not really paying attention, watching the talk or anything, until you hear that click, you know what Kind of a little audible cue that's sort of handy. Of course, you don't hear it when you're out of the cab anyway. But keep left. After 50 yards, turn left.
don't have uh, Wyoming. This is a pretty nice representation of it out here. This end, this is all Western Wyoming. get up to Jackson, uh, back there in Riverton, you can head uh, up to Jackson, that way you go through the southern edge of Yellowstone, which is uh, pretty cool too. I really wanted to get up there and uh, a trip and see if uh, uh, that gravel road, if they did anything there, if that's going to become something to do with uh, integrating Montana, but maybe not, because they got that road further north that we were on uh, in the last video through Yellowstone around the north side. Speaking of Yellowstone up there, uh, like I don't know if you've heard past videos, I talk about my little side business. I'm retired. I I do uh, I build placement rear trailing arms for Cadillacs from 58 to 64. I built them in my garage and I uh, had a customer. Nice fella. And, um, and he's got, uh, he lives just outside the gates or just inside the gates at uh, Yellowstone, Wyoming. Pretty nice guy. He has, his, uh, he has a couple Cadillacs and he does uh, tours, tours with them and he has uh, a few, like, I guess, cabins or like B&B type things that he rents out. And he offers tours and stuff in his Cadillacs. drive mine down there someday and hook up on them. changes aren't registering like they should intermittently. It's getting a little annoying. Turn right. 
Sometimes she says 50 when it's 300, and she'll say 50 when it's zero. <laughs> actually got a buffalo in here. I think it'll open. Go straight. Oh, big and brown. I like our non-Swiss Swiss cows we were getting. Yeah, they're pretty big. Pretty big. plate on the trailer, but uh, Ruta doesn't have a Wyoming plate for the, uh, the truck. That's a good looking truck, eh? I mean, just the, the lines, it's crisp, looks good, portions are good. I like it. A small sleeper. There's a short one. I think this is the 42, there's a 36. I've got the burn barrel you going. You've reached your destination. Got a rodeo practicing over there. for breaking horses or something. I guess breaking horses. <laughs> I guess you could... I guess you could say those guys are cooking the books back there. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Back in inside. Okay. Alrighty. Back to B double in that spot before. It took me a little while. Uh, grain hopper. Not. Oh. 
That's why they put it there. See if you're any good or not. I guess I'm not impressing anybody today. enjoyed that little trip. That was uh, a little longer than normal, but uh, I think that was pretty, pretty nice. Uh, let's see. 303 miles, 41 gallons. Yeah, we're hogging on the fuel. Yeah, it's sort of so-so on the pay front, you know, in terms of the game. But, uh, yeah, one more look at this truck. The only thing that's wrong with the Ruta 389 update is you see how the stripe doesn't go around the front of the ca uh, sleeper? It only goes around the front on the 72 flat top. And the rest of them don't. And I, I let him know about it. Like, you know, the day after this update came out, I sent him a note and he said, yeah, okay. And haven't heard, you know, crickets since. So it would be really nice if he fixed that because he kind of got to put a fat pipe in front of it so you don't it's not as glaring but other than that it's a pretty fine truck anyway thanks for following along guys and thanks for your subscriptions and uh yeah we're just a tick away from 500 so that's pretty exciting for a new channel i guess we're doing all right and um if you had subscribed maybe give it a thought and if you enjoyed it give her a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you on the next one take care bye for now Thank you.